to say from the other side to us? Maybe to all your fans watching? So what exactly? <gasps> they said they shot me! Just after the Mike Tyson Bruce Selden fight, Shakur, along with record company executive Marion Shug Knight, headed for a nightclub. But while stopping at this intersection, a car with four people pulled up and opened fire on Shakur and Knight. What is up, fam? Welcome to another adventure with your boy Omar. Today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada, at a very iconic site that a lot of people probably walk past so many times, even drive past, and they don't realize what had happened here some years ago in 1996. Now I'm a 90s baby. Well, born in the 80s, but more of a 90s baby. So I grew up listening to Tupac Shakur. Now his music is still very much alive, very popular still. If you don't know who Tupac is, I don't know what you're doing. But anyways, we're gonna go to his spot where he took his last breath, which happens to be right in front of us. Flamingo and Koval. I've had quite a few of you guys reach out to me and ask me to do this. We did come last night, but what, what happened last night, bro? What happened last night? It was cold. It bro. was so cold. It was cold, man. I don't know what it is about the winter and the desert. I mean, it is cold out here, and it was a lot cold. And this guy's from Colorado, and he was complaining about the cold. We weren't quite prepared. I mean, we only have sweaters on. They say that Tupac's ghost does visit this site. There's a memorial area. People have paid their respects here. Now, last night when we came here, there was quite a few homeless people. They say that Tupac does come and visit this area. Not sure if we're going to see him, but I did bring my spirit box. We're going to try to make communication with Tupac himself here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hope you're ready for this adventure. Let's do this. Kind of glad we brought the spirit box because I mean, there's a lot of traffic here. I did bring my speaker. There's people everywhere. I mean, it's it's not like we're, we're gonna have uh, some moments of silence with Tupac. I don't know if we'll be able to hear anything, but you got your spirit I box. Do, yeah, I do got the spirit box. I mean, we gotta go over there across the street. That's where the memorial is. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me what to do. Wait, wait. <laughs> I've never heard him say that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wait, wait. <laughs> That's cool. So what do you do when you're on the airplane and you gotta go caca? -ca? You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Especially if there's like a lot of people in front of you going caca -ca too. So there was a tourist that way and he was like, hey, you should go across the street. There's like this pole with a ton of, you know, like graffiti on it. So. I don't think he even knew exactly what it was, too. It's a memorial to Tupac. Tupac was just leaving a fight, a Mike Tyson fight. I guess he was really good friends with Mike Tyson, and he won the fight, by the way. I think it was in the first round. Oh, bro, look at this, man. That's one of the homeless people. He's just chilling there. There was two of them, though. Bro, it is cold out here. So cold. So in 1996, Tupac was... Right here, was at a stoplight and a Cadillac pulled up to their BMW. I think Suge Knight was driving and he was shot up. He was the only one to die too. Who, what, did somebody else get shot? So he was the only one that got shot. There's a lot of conspiracies online. I mean, I'm not sure what to believe, what to believe but one thing I will say is, uh, I mean, based on what I know, happened because there was a lot of like you know east coast west coast beef you know of course you know biggie smalls passed away shortly after i mean i lived through this i seen what was going on i believe that he was alive still because there was tons of Pac music coming out after his death but i mean it's it's pretty confirmed that he is he is gone and you know rest in peace Pac, one of my favorite rappers of all time before i show you you know some of this right here what had happened was is he was at an mgm i think it was at the fight it was, right? It was right after the fight. Right after the fight. Yeah. So he had some ties to, to the Bloods. And what happened was is like one of his boys, I guess he was jumped by some Crip members. And they noticed them there at the MGM brand and they jumped him. And then after that, they wanted to get revenge. Long story short, they pulled up next to him here and shot him. And yeah, I guess Tupac had punched the guy in the face. So that's that's what happened, right? I'm not sure exactly if that's the full story. Yeah, Tupac punched him in the face. Uh, Anderson. It was Anderson. His name was Anderson, yeah, right? Yeah, his name was Anderson. But this guy had he had jumped another blood member, like stealing his chain or something. Yeah, right? he stole his chain. Anderson had stolen stolen Tupac's chain, and 
Tupac? Was it Tupac? No, it was like Tupac, one of Tupac's friends. Was it the friends? Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100%. There's a chain right there, actually. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's a chain right there. I just saw. Oh, wow, there is. But he stole one of What his... if that was the chain? That <laughs> <laughs> was the chain yeah. that was stolen. He stole the Bled's chain. And what happened was Tupac pointed him out in the lobby after the fight. Uh -huh. And then Tupac punched him in the face, and the rest of the Bloods came up and then stomped Anderson out in the lobby. Wow. And then after that, Anderson and the Crips came after Tupac. And they were following him here. Yeah. But look, there's all kinds of cool things here for Tupac. And a lot of people drive and walk past this, and they don't even realize this. This is from, or for Tupac. I mean, what a legend. There's a picture of him there. How cool is that? Bro, look at all, all the way up, up there. They're on the tree too. Did you see all the writing on the tree? Yeah. So much. That's really cool. So I've read a lot of stories online that Tupac does come and visit this memorial site. I mean, he died right here. So uh, we're gonna try to make communication with Tupac. You no, know, it sounds crazy. It's loud out here, but I got a pretty loud speaker. I'm gonna turn it up all the way, and we're gonna pay our respects too. Is there somebody sleeping in here? Hello. Bro, I don't know. It could just be a stuff. Is he over here? Yeah, I don't think that's stuff. So I finally ran into the gentleman that owns that stuff back there. Gave him a little bit of money. Um, I asked him about, you know, if he's seen Tupac, you know, here. He's He's been out here for a long time. He said that he hadn't seen it, seen him or, um, I don't know. He, he was very short with us. But, yeah. I think he thought that we were trying to mess with his stuff. Yeah, because he, he rolled up on it. We were, like, trying to see. But he's in there getting warm, man. Yeah, I think he thought we were messing with him. Well, what's up, bro? You want to do a quick spirit box right here? Yeah, let's do it. Guys, please bear with us. It's loud out here. But, I mean, I don't know. Where is Tupac even buried? I think that would be a great place to do a spirit box sure. where he's buried. Let us know in the comments if that's something that you want us to do. Maybe go out, out there. But, I mean, a lot of people that know who Pac was... They don't know the, the location. It's right here. Yeah. If you ever come out to Vegas, come pay your respects. Pretty cool. If you're a ghost hunter, do a spare box communication. I want to reach out and ask because, I mean, there's a lot of, even till this day, there's a lot of questions surrounding his death. There's a lot of conspiracy theories as to, you know, maybe it was a setup because he was the only one that died. He was the only one that died. What do you think? Oh, no, it's kind of sketchy since he was the only one that died. I think we should ask. camera in a tree right now and that tree that I was showing you he'll be able to show it whatever you do don't bump into the, into the tree though two thousand dollar camera just dangling from a tree Bro, I don't know if we're gonna be able to hear anything I don't know if we are but you got a pretty loud speaker That's I'm gonna turn it loud. all the way up bad idea <laughs> very bad idea okay let's not do that again no is it okay yeah, this is where I had my camera propped into. Not a good idea. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. All right, we're cold. Kind of backed up a little bit, but the memorial site is right here in front of us, maybe 15 feet away from where Pac died. We're gonna go ahead and open up the app that I use for Spirit Box communication. If you wanna try this app out for yourself, I have a link down below in the description. It's pretty awesome. I made communication with this AIM app with Paul Walker. It was a little quieter than this. It was on, on the main road. It was where Paul Walker passed away. You know, he hit the tree, the Porsche, red Porsche. If you want to watch that video, I have it on this channel. I'll leave a link down below. I don't know. I hope this works out. Let's go ahead. I'm going to just, I'm going to crank it up. Go oh, Tupac. Are you here with us? Is there anything you want to tell us? from the other side. Really appreciate your music that you left behind for us. I can't hear you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What happened? 
That's what I heard, dead. I know, but who killed you? Sorry. Conflict? Conflict? Is that what she said? I don't know. Was it a cover up? Or are the stories true? What was the guy's name that murdered you? Okay. Was it somebody you knew that killed you? We sure do miss you. Oh. Do you come to visit this memorial? A lot of love is here for you. I mean, how long ago did that happen? 96? 96. Like, what was your favorite song that you sang? One. One? I know which one. Your favorite song. So hard to hear. It's hard to hear, yeah. You guys are probably hearing more of what we're hearing because I have the speaker right up to the microphone. I'm a little bit more away, but yeah. if you can't hear it on my video, head on over to his video too and go see if you can hear it better on his video. Yeah, I'll put it a little closer. Alright, here we go. It's much closer now. We want to hear from you, Tupac. Dream. No, it's not a dream. And I'm sorry it's not. Was there a song called Dream? Oh, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of songs I even hear that Tupac has made. He made so many songs. Is Tupac alive? I always felt like Tupac was alive, though. Tom? Come on. Is faith? Did you die because of faith? Faith was Biggie's wife. Really? Yeah. There, there was there was a thing going on. Was that real? The beef that you had with with Biggie was that real beef? Or was it that just like a publicity stunt? We're gonna go somewhere quieter, okay? So if you're gonna come visit Pac's memorial where he passed away, park where I parked right now. It's right behind the link, that big Ferris wheel. Oh, right here, go. Twelve dollars? Dude, I went over four minutes. So for the first hour, it's free. I legit, four minutes cost me twelve dollars. If you can time yourself, I, I, pre I thought I was good. You scammer. But yeah, it's free parking if you can get back here within an hour. Yeah, look, right there, I'm not even lying. An hour and four minutes. I had $12 too, and I gave it to the homeless man. <laughs> we are getting close to the intersection. I'm just hoping we get a red light. Uh, I'm gonna stay in the middle lane, because that's where they were. So see, that's where we were right there. The memorial's on the right-hand side. All right, Tupac, we can hear you now. Are you here with us? Oh, there's two memorials. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even know that. There was another one back there we missed. All right, here we go. That's where we were earlier. Oh, yeah. 
So what exactly? <gasps> it said they shot me. Did it really? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Who shot you? Who shot you? Light just turned green. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do another U-turn. We're gonna come back around. Yeah, we're gonna come back around. We are back at the intersection. A little bit further away from the memorial, but we're gonna turn back around and go a lot closer to the memorial, but we're still gonna do some EVPs while we're here at this light because we're just a few steps away. So, all right, Pac, talk to us. <laughs> It was him. It was him. I heard that too. Yeah. Who was it that killed you? Wow. Was it gang related? Yes. What was his name? No. Did you, it kind of said Anderson. Really? Yeah, it kind of said Anderson. It was like Anderson. All right, we're going right through the intersection. Oh. <laughs> Didn't Shug Knight have an affiliation with the Bloods too? He was blood. Oh, he was blood. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Look, that's where it happened, right up there. Do you regret what happened? Do you, do you feel like it could have been avoided? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do another U-turn. This is much better doing it like this. Yeah, much warmer too. And it's warmer. <laughs> for sure. It's so windy out there. As he turns up my side of the car. <laughs> See, look, this is where we could have parked, but it's an employ employment center. So I I'm still not sure. I mean, I, I believe Tupac has passed away, but I mean, is there a possibility of, of him maybe possibly faking his death? People did talk about that a lot when he died. He would have been seen by now. Yeah. Tupac, may you rest in peace, bud. There are a lot of people that love you. Is there anything you want to say to us? Is there any messages you want to... Is there anything you want to say from the other side to us? Maybe to all your fans watching? Do you like the, the, the memorial that, that they did for you here? It's still here. another pole there with a memorial okay we're here again right in front of it what happened here is the story true I know I keep asking but I want confirmation was there a scuffle No. conspiracy Who wanted you dead? Can you repeat that? Are you resting in peace, Tupac? We want you to rest in peace. Do you feel like justice was served when it came to your murder? No. 
no. Oh, I said no. I said no. I said no. Again. Crime. Let's go again. I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna try to figure out where Pac is buried. It's it's one thing that I've never. I mean, it, was he cremated? Was he actually buried? I'm not sure. This was definitely interesting. I, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I didn't know that Tupac uh, up until maybe earlier this year that he was actually gunned down in Vegas. Yeah, I, heard I always that. thought it was like L.A. for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I, I knew it was out west. But anyways, let let us know what you what you think you heard. Maybe some of the EVPs that we picked up. We picked up some good stuff in the car right now. We did. Yeah, we did that was great. Responses. If you're ever in Vegas, be sure to check out the memorial. Pay your respects. Bring a sharpie with you too. That way you can draw on the pole. I would recommend drawing on the other one that we missed because yeah. it didn't have that many on that one. Yeah, the one a little bit further down. I can't believe I missed that. But anyways, make sure to check out my boy Aiden with Aiden's Escapades. He has a pretty lit channel, and he recorded some stuff that I didn't record tonight, too. So, why am I saying tonight? Yeah, it's starting to get dark out, and it's starting to get cold. Also, I would recommend maybe bringing, like, some water or maybe a bag of chips for some of the homeless people that are right there. I mean, they were very friendly, and I, I don't know. I, I could see that they were hungry, and they were cold. I wish I would have had a blanket or something because, yeah, they're, they're pretty cold. The homeless situation here in Vegas is ridiculous. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Make sure to smash that like button if you didn't already. I got a lot of awesome videos, if you're new to this channel, that are very similar to this, where I've reached out to celebrities that have passed on, and I don't mean any disrespect to their families by doing this. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me to do one for Kobe Bryant and his daughter, and I refuse to do that, especially so early on like this. Maybe in the, in the future, maybe a couple years from now, but yeah, I mean, it took me a while to even do that with Paul Walker, but if you want to see videos like that, they are interesting. I do want to give some respect to people that are still mourning. I think it's a little disrespectful to go on and, and do a, a spirit box communication so soon. There's a lot of people doing it already, so yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that way too soon. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thanks for watching. Got to go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.